girls in the office were like, Donna, her name's Donna, just go out with him. He's cute. Just go. So they ended up having their first date at West Point. Um, yeah, this is in the Tri-State area. So. And that's how they met. And they've been together ever since. My grandfather was naturalized by his parents under the age of 21. My grandfather was naturalized, so his great your great grandparents naturalized your great your grandfather. I need I need more details on that. I need a little bit more details on that. I need dates, for instance. Um say fidanzata no. What about grandparents born in Italy? Yeah, you can get it through your grandparent. Absolutely. As long as the bloodline has not been cut. If the bloodline has been cut, then we would look into your options in regards to repairing the bloodline. But um, you need to focus on the relative closest to you born in Italy and connect you with that person through documents. Okay. So just because you have grandparents born in Italy, that's fantastic. But now we need to look at look at dates. Did they ever become a U.S. citizen? If so, when? Did they become a U.S. citizen immediately when they arrived to the United States? Or did they have the next person in line first? Did they pop out a child first? These are the questions that I ask my clients. These are, this is the information that I need to get before I can give anybody uh, answers to anything. How much did the process cost you and how long did it take? So I came to Italy to do the process. Okay, and it's only a few hundred dollars in paper processing fees. Okay, same thing with the consulate. If you do it through your consulate, it's only a few hundred dollars in paper processing fees, but it takes you years, right? So I came to Italy and I did it. Cost the same amount as going through your consulate, but I got mine within three to four months. Okay. Is consultation enough to live comfortably in Italy? Are you saying, do I make enough money to live comfortably? <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not suffering. So how are your services priced? So through consultations, you can see all the prices through the through on my website, through the link in my bio. Um, but each service is priced differently. And it's also detailed for your specific case. Um, we would have to look into, you know, all of the details of your case, and then we would give you a quote. But for the most part, it's a fraction of what agencies and what immigration lawyers in the United States quote people, which is the reason why I've decided to collaborate with the team that I, I'm working with. Um, not only is their track record absolutely phenomenal, but they, they're not trying to screw anyone an arm and a leg. Everything is extremely fair for the service that you're going to be getting. Literally a fraction. So. How can you rent or buy if asked to leave after 90 days? You can still rent or buy, but you got to leave after 90 days. Just because you rent or buy does not give you any authority to stay past 90 days. You can buy a home without citizenship, yes, but you can't stay past 90 days if you don't have a citizenship or the proper visa. Husband is born Italian. He became a naturalized U.S. citizen. Can my kids and I get dual citizenship? Okay. Thank you for the details. Were your kids born before or after he, uh, he became a U.S. citizen? Let me explain. This is how it works. Okay. We need to figure out if the bloodline has been cut. Okay. If an Italian left Italy and went to the United States before 1992 then they were not allowed to have both citizenships, okay? So assuming he, he went to the U.S. and became a U.S. citizen before 1992, right? Leaves Italy, goes to the U.S., becomes a U.S. citizen immediately, and then has their children. Those children were born of American blood and not of Italian blood. So that means your bloodline has been cut. However, if you left Italy, went to the United States, did not become a citizen of the U.S. immediately, but instead 
popped out a baby first, then that baby was born of Italian blood, not of American blood, continuing that Italian bloodline. It is very possible, though, that one child is eligible for dual and another child is not, depending on their birth date in relation to when your husband became a U.S. citizen. So these are this is the information that I need in order to say yes or no. You can def oh no. First he would have to reacquire if no one is eligible, meaning his children, your children together were born after he became a US citizen, then he would either have to reacquire his his Italian citizenship by residing legally in Italy for one year, or your children as children of somebody born in Italy with a cup bloodline can reside legally in Italy for three years to repair the bloodline and then they can apply for dual. Okay. That was wordy, I know. I hope it made sense.